Gaffer, what are the difference a week or so makes? Four points out of six against Bradford and Mansfield and two clean sheets as well. What's the mood been like in the camp following that? Yeah, the morale's been brilliant. Um, really upbeat. Obviously, two big clubs coming to our place and um, us taking four points has been a good return. What we made about Alex Patterson's form recently? He was a standout player against Bradford, wasn't he? Yeah, outstanding in both games. Um, I think he's really been showing command in form, you know, driving forward through midfield at pace and also just uh, doing all the other side of the game, winning headers, tackles, being really right in the heart, heart of the last two performances. And Jack Diamond as well, he seems to play very well against Bradford. Do you think that was his best showing since resuming his loan spell? Uh, probably, um, yeah, but he, I mean, he's only just come back really, but um, just outstanding on the ball and his work rate uh, up and down the left flank has uh, he, been superb, you know, so he's, he's really lifted us all, you know, with his with his effort and his, you know, the entertainment he brings to, to the club. Don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but the last two results built a nice little platform in terms of performance levels and confidence within the squad. Yeah, yeah, no one is getting carried away at all. You know, it really is at the minute, right, the next game, you know, let's chalk it off and, and um, let's show the same intensity. You know, we've got to imagine it is a, a local derby again and get the crowd whipped up. Um, win the first headers, tackles and be right in the middle of the game, you know, really immersed in it and um, be hard to beat, you know, have that pride, not just in attacking, but also defensively. I think um, the whole back four over the last couple of games is, uh, and our keeper have been exemplary, you know, and wanting to maintain those clean sheets. The next game is Crawley, Tuesday night. What have you made of our battles with John Yems' side so far? Yeah, o always a battle, you know, and um, you know, they're tough games. Uh, they've been on a decent run themselves. Um, but they've good, got good attacking threats and play a different system um, from what we've been playing against the last couple of games. You know, we've, we've had the diamond thrown at us. You know, we've had 4-2-3-1. We've had uh, also 3-4-1-2, which is pretty similar um, to what we expect tomorrow night. They've also conceded two late goals in their previous game and then another late one in the game before that against Swindon. Is there any potential weakness to exploit there? Well, I don't know about, about weakness, um, the timings of those goals, but we're, we'll just keep going to the final whistle and if we score late on, brilliant. Finally, is it important to round off this final home game of the three um, before trips to Rochdale next to, with three points? Well, it's important, you know, that we, we don't lose the game first and foremost and we just don't go hell for leather and, and leave the back door open. You know, we've got to play with, with our brains as well as our hearts. And, you know, if, it, if it's a point, it's a point and we move on. You know, we want to sustain this nice little run. Um, but obviously, you know, a, a three points would be brilliant um, and another confidence booster ahead of another difficult game. But uh, just got to focus on that first part of the game tomorrow and get stuck into it. Well, cheers, best of luck. Cheers, thank you.